Hi guys. A couple people have asked me how long it will actually take to root um, the string of hearts. If you've watched that video last week, we um, propagated the string of hearts using a water propagation method and the butterfly method using sphagnum moss. So I have both with me and I thought um, there's no better way to answer that question than showing you our propagation after uh, a week or actually for this one in the video I showed it when I propagated the sphagnum moss but it actually was propagated maybe a three to four days before that because I was just too eager to propagate and put it in water I didn't have sphagnum moss at that time yet so I thought well I'll just throw it in water so anyways so this one is like three days four days older than this propagation. In any case, um, let's see how much progress is made. And um, just for reference, both of them sit by my kitchen windowsill. They get um, morning sun, uh, it's pretty bright and indirect light, and they're sitting side by side to each other. So let's start with the water propagation as this was the the first thing that I actually put in here. So for the water propagation, if you remember, we um, we cut the leaves on the side, and as you can see, there's some um, tiny growth in there. Um, I can see a little bit of leaves in the, over here, and this side is already growing like some new strings there's more uh, tiny growth over here yeah it's pretty consistent um, you have tiny leaves over here too I hope you can see that because it's really 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 tiny um, I wonder if I can pull one of them just to show you oh here you go so like there Oh, it's really, really, really small. I hope it's focusing right. There you go. I hope. So, it's already forming like baby string of hearts. So yeah, like, I guess after about 10 days, we're already seeing a lot of progress in this one. Um, let's see what this guy is doing. So this guy also has a little bit of growth I'm just trying to move it so that you can see better but I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult just because it's too tiny so anyways I hope you've guys seen that just another look over here and let's put it right back so yeah, progress for this has been pretty good, I would say. So now let's look at our sphagnum moss. So this is how it looks like. If you remember from the video, which I'm going to put up a card up there, um, we just loosely packed the sphagnum moss and pretty much just put it on top. Um, no specific arrangement or anything like that. And uh, I did check on the sphagnum moss a couple times and when I felt that it's pretty dry I just sprayed it and then put put this uh, lid back on as you can see there's some holes in the lid and uh, the lid is to actually keep the humidity high but at the same time you want it the air to circulate so it doesn't rot your um, cuttings so let's look at this one. Oh. So for this one, it's actually also grown pretty good. Um, and I would say it looks like it grown a little bigger than uh, the one in water, considering the one in water actually was propagated a few days earlier. So there, it's also pretty consistent. Wow, look at this guy. So this one, there's already a lot of baby strings over there. 
That is so cute. And yeah, even the tiniest uh, string of hearts actually have babies now. So there you go. Which one? Um, I'm not sure if I already showed you guys this guy, but if I did, then you're going to just see it again. It's kind of hard to focus, so I hope you can all see that. So yeah, like it seems like, I think they're almost similar, but I want to say the one in, uh, this guy is, has very little growth, but you know, it's getting there. Um, I want to say, seems like the one in sphagnum moss is growing faster, um, just because I see more, uh, more leaves. And it was actually put in the propagation box uh, a little bit later than the one in water. So, so for this round, at least for string of hearts propagation, water versus sphagnum moss, I think this round goes to sphagnum moss. But like I said, it really depends on you which whatever method you're comfortable. So if you like water propagation, I'd say go for it. If you want sphagnum moss and you've been um, using that medium, that's fine. There's no right or wrong. And if you just want to try a different method and kind of find out what's best for you, um, that is really great. And I wish you luck in all your propagation. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And thank you for your likes and comments. And thanks for watching.